Have you seen them? I will not bother to offer a denial. I, you have the right of it. We would be honored to hear your proposal. Hello, and welcome, or welcome back. If you're returning, my name is Burr, and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, uh, JRPGs, art, music, obscure video games, uh, then you should subscribe, because that's what we do here. Also, don't forget to give this video a like, because that super helps us out. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that at 800 subscribers, I'm going to do a special live art stream, and I'll be doing little headshot drawings of your Final Fantasy characters, or if you have another original character of yours you want me to draw, or if you just want me to draw you in my own little style, I could do that. We're going to do that live. We're going to hit 800 first, and then we'll go from there. Beautiful though it may be, we cannot spend all day staring at the ether, right? Come, come, let us move along. The markets are next. This city is so cool. We have arrived at the largest shopping district in Kugane, Kogane Dori. Wow, wow, wow! Kugane, as you are doubtless unaware, is an ancient Hingan word for gold. So, in this prosperous port where golden fortunes are made, lesser fortunes, or Kogane, are earned by the local merchants. It's all quite logical once you learn the language. <laughs> now you're beginning to speak my language. <laughs> no, Tatar. Oh, a kindred spirit. What a pleasure it is to meet a young lady who appreciates the value of hard won coin. Hard won coin. Hancock of the East Altadon Trading Company. You are with clients today. Why, if it is Ambassador K10? Pray allow me to introduce to you my esteemed guests, but recently come from distant Eorzea. This kind and generous soul supervises all transactions here in Kogare Dore. Your sincerity is ever appreciated. As he says, I am K10 of the Hakuchi clan, and it is my honor to serve as overseer of these markets. As we receive many foreign visitors in Kugane, we accept all manner of currencies. Rest assured, your Eorzean guild are welcome here. I invite you to peruse our wares at your leisure. My inner weeb is just having so much fun right now. <laughs> what a kawaii day! Uh, arms, hammer, foodstuffs, potables, here you will find all of them and more. If we may pause here for a moment. This road leads to the Asian Gai, the district in which Asian or foreigners are permitted to reside. Would this also be where the foreign embassies are found, including that of a certain empire? Precisely. So you see, it would not be at all unusual to cross paths with one of our Garlean cousins here. With this in mind, I would encourage you to choose your words carefully. We would not want any physical altercations, after all, such spats being strictly forbidden. The Sekisikumi punish breaches of the peace quite severely. I have been seen foreigners permanently exiled for a single violation. Though, to be fair, this is not common. More often than not, they are executed on the spot. Oh. That's comforting. What? Cut down then and there? You're joking, right? Would that I were, but alas, these samurais are a humorous lot. Why, I recall one instance when a foreign merchant in his cups dared lay hands upon a Hingen aristocrat in front of a Sekiskeomi. The samurai cut him in half with a single stroke. Ugh, I don't even want to think about that. So, as you see, it would behoove you to behave. Failing that, we may be forced to part ways with one another. Or you with yourselves, in the matter of the late Telegi and Legi. <laughs> he thinks he's so funny. Has everybody got these jokes? Oh, how I amuse myself. But we must carry on. I have yet to show you the Garlean Consulate. <laughs> Ellie's just like, whatever. <laughs> this 
As you may have surmised, is the consulate of you know who. Mark the guards at the gate. Are their uniforms not different from those you have seen in the West? Were you to travel far and wide, you would find that many such variations exist, often inspired by local designs, all of which goes to show that even a massive empire seeking to rule all of creation is not without its artisans. There is oh so much more I could speak of. The soothing waters of the onset, the ephemeral delights of the pleasure district. But you are doubtless still weary from your long sea voyage. Hello, Viking! Let us retire to the company offices. At long last, we arrive at our destination. May I present to you our humble offices? We have much to discuss, so I will refrain from further prattle. Come, come right this way. Our thaumaturges took great pains to ward these walls against all manner of surveillance. Where business dealings are concerned, we do not compromise on confidentiality. You may avail yourselves of these offices for the duration of your visit. Come and go as you like, and know that you may speak freely here. Your offer is most generous, but I will not enter into any agreement which would leave us beholden to you or your master. A legitimate concern? Allow me to clarify, then. The chairman bids you consider this as an expression of his heartfelt contrition for the bloody banquet and the unpleasantness which followed. Never having been one to put stock in words alone, the chairman deems the provision of material aid to be a more appropriate demonstration of his sincerity. By sheer coincidence, your purpose here also happens to coincide with our own interests. That is, assuming you are come to aid the Doman Liberation Front. How could... <laughs> I will not bother to offer a denial. I, you have the right of it. To be specific, we are come in search of our Far Eastern allies, Yugiri and Gosetsu, whom we hope to assist in their fight. The Aori Shinobi and the Rugadan Samurai? Then you will be pleased to know that they have both come to Kugani. Are you sure? Quite. They came here aboard a company vessel, you see. However, they encountered difficulties securing passage across the Ruby Sea. The Ruby Sea? Sorry, I've never been any good at geography. Me neither. <laughs> Forgive me. This calls for a map. <laughs> Tatter is adorable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Very Game of Thronesy. We are here in Kugani, the sole open port of Hingashi, situated on her western coast. Doma, meanwhile, is here on the eastern coast of Othard in Yansha. Therefore, if your friends are to reach Doma, they must first cross the Ruby Sea. Alas, this is easier said than done, as the Ruby Sea does not fall within the dominion of either Hingashi or Doma, being controlled since antiquity by a third party, namely the Confederacy. Said maritime collective is known for the consummate skill of its sailors, and for demanding that any vessel entering its waters pay a toll referred to as the Ruby Tithe. In exchange, the Confederacy's vast fleet guarantees the safety of those who travel within its territory. Now, as I'm sure you are aware, Garlemald conquered Doma some 25 years past, at which time the Empire saw no value in controlling the Ruby Sea. And thus did they turn a blind eye to the activities of the Confederacy. The recently appointed acting Imperial Viceroy of Doma 
had other ideas, however. She has formally condemned the Confederacy and declared that any who recognize their authority shall be branded enemies of the Empire. Bowing to this pressure, Hingashi severed ties with these toll-takers and forbade the payment of the ruby tithe, prompting the Confederacy to make it known that any merchants choosing to sail the ruby sea would do so at their peril. No wonder they struggled to secure passage to Doma. What captain would risk such a journey given the circumstances? I am told your friends were not so easily deterred from their course, but I know not whether their persistence bore fruit. I say we follow in Yugiri and Gosetsu's footsteps and attempt to secure passage to Doma for ourselves. We will need to cross the sea in any case, and we may learn something of their whereabouts in the process. And should we find that they are still in Kagane, we can make the journey together. In that case, I have some information which may be of use to you. No quid pro quo, I assure you. The chairman was most insistent that I aid you to the best of my ability. What's wrong with your face? He's a freak, I tell you. Though I am reluctant to take any action whatsoever that could be construed as placing ourselves in Lord Lolorito's debt, we must avail ourselves of what means are available. Our Alamegan allies place their faith in us, but I do not intend to disappoint them. He's always got a plan. It would seem inefficient for us all to venture out together in search of information on Yukiri and Kuzetsu's whereabouts, agreed? Agreed. We need to cast our net wider, split up, and pursue all available avenues of inquiry. But if we're to coordinate our efforts effectively, we'll need to establish a working base of operations here. Indeed. Tataru would seem best suited to the task of organizing our supplies and procuring a new ones. A uh, new ones. <laughs> While she attends to that, we four can begin our search by questioning the individuals Hancock identified. Alize and I will take those in the southern districts of the city, and the two of you can take those in the north. In uh, anticipation of just such an eventuality, I took the liberty of preparing some few sketches of Yugiri and Gosetsu during our voyage. Oh yeah, because he's a little artist. That's so cute. And he's so talented. Look at him go. <laughs> Wow, he's done to warn me that you are a bit of an artist, but these are great. They'll definitely come in handy. Oh, Looks like it's you and me, Burr. Let's step outside and talk about where to start. Wow, Alphino's sketches are so... I don't know how to put it, but they're very... Well, see for yourself. It looks more like them than they do. Honestly, he could make a living doing this. Ah, sorry, sorry. No time for distractions. Why don't we start by visiting Karaku at the, um, something? Onsun? Onsan? Onsen. That was it. <laughs> Judging from the look on your face, you didn't have much better luck than I did. How'd it go? It didn't. Well, I suppose we might as well head back to... Wait! I've just remembered. There was someone on my list I forgot to visit. Giono. He's a Namazu fisherman. Whatever that means. And a regular here. Maybe we'll find him if we look around. What? What? Why do you stare? You have business with me. By the twelve, a talking fish. Yes, yes, a talking fish. How very observant of you, Ejin. 
<sighs> you find me in good spirits, so your rudeness I will ignore this once, but only if you address me again in the proper manner. Sorry, I've never met a... Let's start again. You're Gyodo, right? My name is Lise, and this is Burr. We're looking for some friends of ours. I see, I see. Both these ones I know well. I help them secure passage across the Ruby Sea. Really? That's wonderful. Could you do the same for us? Yes, yes, this would not be a problem. For you, I could charter a ship that very day. But the journey is fraught with much peril. The fare will not be cheap. Are you sure you can afford to pay? No, I didn't think to bring any money. But surely Tataru will let us take whatever we need from the Scion's coffers, right? Are you crazy? We wouldn't be the only passengers, though. Could we take a moment to talk it over with our friends? Yes, yes, but hurry. Your ship must depart under cover of darkness. We shall meet again at sunset on the Tesogari Bridge. Do not forget your fare. Bring many gil, yes? Many. It's about time our luck changed. Alphino and the others will be thrilled. This seems a little too easy. Greetings, Honored Madam. Will you be entering the Ruby Bazaar office? We spoke with the number of merchants and captains at the Southern Piers. Several recognized Gosetsu and confirmed that he had been searching for a vessel to deliver him to the author. None, however, made any mention of Lady Ugiri. Yes, it was the same story for us, and then you'll never believe what happened. So this Kyoto claims to have aided both Gosetsu and Ugiri. How fortuitous. Not the word I would have chosen, Master Alvino. Stupid's what I'd call it. How can you agree to his price without making any attempt to haggle, or even confirming what it was in the first place? <laughs> yes, that too was a misstep on their part, but it is not what troubles me most. Giotto and his brethren are not renowned for their generosity of spirit. Rather, they are disdained as scheming moneylenders, even ever eager to turn a profit from others' misfortune. Everyone else we questioned stated that Gosetsu was alone. Only Gyoro claims to have met both him and Yukiri. I suppose it's just possible that Gosetsu made inquiries by himself and only called upon Yukiri once he had found a willing captain? That was my thought. But it is equally possible, if not more likely, that you are being deceived. Do not forget that there are parties present in Kugane with agendas which may run contrary to your own. The Viceroy was once a spy herself, as I recall. I should be surprised if she did not have countless agents here in her employ, all eager to prove themselves to the new master. And what better way to do so than by delivering her at the heads of foreign insurgents? Fine. You may be right about him, but if Gyodo's working for the Empire, who's to say he didn't try the same trick on Yukiri and Gosetsu? I mean, if he did, he might know where they are. And if he succeeded, they might be in trouble. Anyway, if he holds up his end of the bargain, we'll have nothing to worry about, will we? But if he tries to betray us, I vote we take him prisoner and punch him till he tells us the truth. <clears throat> so if it's a trap, we'll spring it and deal with the consequences. Hmm, I like the way you think. Ah, uh, very well. We should prepare for the worst. Tataru will remain here, and I shall follow the three of you at a discreet distance. Once more, I must caution you to avoid physical altercations at all costs, even should Imperial agents attempt to engage you. The Seikazugumi will not hesitate to clap you in irons or cut you down. If anything untoward should happen, you are to return here at once, is that clear? Sure, sure. To review, Lise, Burr, and I will meet with Gyodo as planned. Alphino will keep watch from a distance, ready to provide support in the likely event that Yono attempts to betray us to the Imperials or whomever else. Should that happen, you and Lise will subdue him, and together we will make our escape. As our actions will surely draw the attention of the Sekisagumi, we will evade them with Alphino's assistance and return here with our prisoner. Does that meet with everyone's approval? Of course, these precautions will be for naught if Yono does not play for us for fools. But we shall see. To the bridge. Gonna be a fight. <clears throat> Our would-be ally is nowhere to be seen. Make ready, Burr. Something smells fishy.
Good one. He's late. And most sincere apologies to you and yours, yes, yes. This way, this way, quickly now. Oh my gosh, his voice sounds exactly how I imagined it would. Enough! Where are you taking us? Where is the ship? The ship, the ship! I'm so very sorry to inform you, yes, yes! Long before was it pledged to another! To me, to me! These ones are for Doma! Ugh. <sighs> I knew it couldn't be this simple. Nothing personal, yes, yes, just business. Then business is about to take a turn for the worse. Ah! Come on, let's find a way out of here. Ah! As expected, the sick Kisugumi have caught our scent. Since fighting them is out of the question, we'll have to wind our way back to the Ruby Bazaar, evading their patrols as we go. Oh no. Stealth. If they find you, use these smoke bombs to make your escape. Yeah, use the smoke bombs to evade the patrols. Be warned that attacking the sick Kisugumi will result in failure. Oh my goodness. Stay hidden and quiet. Understood? Clear the road! Clear the road! You there! Korjin! We seek four foreigners. One, a brutish woman carrying an unconscious Namazu. Have you seen them? Four foreigners, you say? Ah, yes! Very rude they were, making no apology as they barged past. They went that way, I think. Many thanks, good sir. With me, they cannot have gone far. A brutish woman. <laughs> Poor Elise. All is well. The Seki Sei Gumi will not return this way for some time, I should think. You are of the East Aldenard Trading Company, yes? Come with me. I know a safer way. At this point, like, what do we have to lose, you know? This guy.
<laughs> you are returned. <laughs> and with guests, I see. Our meeting went about as well as expected. We've brought the Namazu who thought to betray us. When he wakes up, we'll see what he knows about Yugiri and Gazetsu. Well done, you. When I saw the Sekisei Gumi out in force, I did begin to worry, but I see my fears were misplaced. Actually, if it weren't for Soroban, we might not have gotten away. Twas my pleasure. Yet I must ask, Soroban, why would you deceive the Sekisei to help us, foreigners of whom you know naught? Why, out of the kindness of my heart, is what I would like to say, but my motives are not so pure. I chanced to witness your meeting with Hancock at the tavern and saw an opportunity. An opportunity? Like many, I came to Kugane as a trader to make my fortune. Kojin of the Red may serve the Empire as mercenaries, but Kojin of the Blue walk a different path. Regretfully, most here would rather not meet our gaze, much less do business. So I seek the custom of those less predisposed to dismiss us outright, namely the East Aldenard Trading Company. Quid pro quo, is it? Well, there is no denying that we owe you a debt. What say you, Hancock? Will you consider doing business with our entrepreneurial friend here? Rest assured, Master Sorobin, that in matters of trade, the company does not discriminate. We would be honored to hear your proposal. I promise you will not regret this, good sir. Ah, yes. You sought passage across the Ruby Sea, did you not? I have a ship you can use. How convenient. Isn't that nice? You do? Well then, far <laughs> be it from us to refuse. You have our deepest thanks. And you mine. I'm still annoyed he tried to deceive us, but at least we were prepared for it. Even so, next time we should probably try to avoid running around Kugane in the middle of the night without the city guard snapping at our heels. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Right then, Kyoto should be coming around soon. I think it's time we had a little chat, don't you? Rise and shine, little fishy. I know you can hear me, so stop pretending to be asleep or I'll give you another ride on my boot. No, no, no more boots. All my secrets are yours for the asking. Tell us what you know about Yugiri and Gosetsu. Every last detail. And if I find out later that you lied to me... No, no, no more lies. The clear, unvarnished truth. You have my word. Only the samurai did I meet. Yes, yes, only him. He asked after a ship, so I provided an introduction to... to the Garleans. You mean you let him into a trap as you did us, because you are an Imperial spy? No, no, I am no spy. It was just business. Fewer ships pass through Kugane these days, and we have struggled to make ends meet. So when the Garleans offered a bounty for any domans found in Kugane... Oh, my mistake. You're not a spy, but a common cutthroat. Not that I'm surprised. You need half a brain to be a spy. So what happened to the samurai? Such a cruel, vicious tongue you have. He would not go quietly. No, no. Blades were drawn. Men were cut down. And the Sakisagumi came. They took the samurai away. Hold on a moment. You mean to tell me the Asian they arrested the other day was Gosetsu? Oh, had I but known. If he is in the custody of the Sekisagumi, I need only to see it, see to it that the requisite funds find their way into the right official's hands and your friend will walk free. As it is in Ulda, so is it, it is in Gugane. But given the circumstances, it seems we have no choice but to resort to morally questionable means. 
We'll make a pragmatist of you yet, Master Alfredo. You are free to wait here while I speak with the relevant official, but if you would rather wait for Gosetsu outside the bar barracks, we could go together. I wouldn't put it past the Imperials to try something again, so mayhap it would be best if Lee Spur and I joined you. Alright, but what about Kyoto? I will keep an eye on him for the time being. We can release him after you return with Gosetsu. He will doubtless have some choice words to say to the little fellow. Soraban, mayhap it would be prudent to prepare your ship for our immediate departure. As you wish. Everything is in order. Then let us be off. The Sakesagumi barracks are to the north. Hey all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right, from uh, all of us to all of you, <laughs> bye. Got a